I'm Dr. Suvarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Ziva Fertility is conducting a free camp for patients suffering from infertility. We are conducting this camp in the month of May on every Saturday at Kompalli, Sanatnagar, Banjara Hills and Manikonda. Included in this camp are free registration, consultation, counseling and semen analysis. Subsequent treatment options will also be uh, suggested to you and you can avail this opportunity. Hi, I am Dr. Swashla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today, I am going to be talking about something very interesting. It's called the thin endometrium and what the chances of pregnancy are with this kind of an endometrium. Let's try to understand the endometrium. It grows in size under the influence of what's happening in the ovaries. Basically, it reacts to hormones that are released by the brain called FSH and LH and from there the eggs keep growing. The growing egg also releases something called as estrogen and then this estrogen releases something called as estrogen helps in the uh, ovulation of the egg which then releases progesterone under the influence of progesterone and estrogen. The endometrium starts growing and is receptive so to say it's trying to welcome a fertilized egg which travels from the tube into the endometrium and implant. So this is a play of four very important hormones called FSH follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, estrogen and progesterone. All these have to be in the right balance and released at the right time to be able to have this beautiful orchestra between the ovary and the endometrium and the uterus. So what is a thin endometrium? Basically there are many studies. Some say anything above 6 mm is good and uh, under 12 mm is good. Uh, between these the uh, endometrium is at its maximum capacity for implantation of the embryo. But studies have revealed that under 6 mm also implantations have occurred. Yes, the percentage uh, is a little low but optimal implantation is after 7 mm and below uh, 12 mm. So it's over uh, uh, thick you know if it is more than 12 or 14 mm. So these are what studies are saying. Now how does your fertility specialist tackle thin endometrium. What they basically do is give you something called estrogen because they are trying to mimic natural physiology. Now what dosage, what long a period this uh, estrogen should be given for is decided based on the response your endometrium gives to this estrogen. Sometimes they could be given as vaginal um, inductions, they could be given as tablets or as patches. Depending on the dosage that is required, your doctor decides for how long and what dose this estrogen should be given. Once the size that I have talked about is attained, progesterone is added to increase the size and the receptivity of this endometrium and then an embryo transfer is planned. So for thin endometrium, definitely a frozen embryo transfer works very well because in a cycle where the eggs were grown, the response to the stimulation drugs could be too high sometimes, which is why there could be a mismatch between the embryos and the endometrium. They have to speak the same language, they have to be synchronized. Therefore, sometimes embryo transfers are cancelled and, and planned in a subsequent cycle where the effect of the stimulation drugs are totally gone and the endometrium then responds very well to estrogen. If you would want to understand more, if you have been diagnosed with chronic thin endometrium and you want to understand how to increase your chance of success with IVF, please feel free to contact us on the numbers that you see on the screen. Thank you. We strive very hard to make these informative videos for you. Please encourage us by subscribing and liking our videos. Thank you.